Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator. In this episode, which is not on a Thursday, I'm going to answer a question from Ronnie Jacobson. I think this is how I pronounce his name, I hope so. Um, he asked me a question on Thingiverse and he's one of my YouTube subscribers. And he wanted my opinion on how I should set my settings in uh, XYZware for Pro to print the part he likes. So, uh, well, let's take a look how I set my settings. This video is made to answer the question of Ron Jack. He has uh, downloaded the thing from Thingiverse and uh, he wants some advice on how to print this uh, on his DaVinci Pro printer. Well, actually I'm working with PLA at this moment. I'm not running ABS at this time. Uh, but if it would be ABS, I would give you the settings as well. So, uh, in the printer settings, at the first tab, um, I go to the PLA. If you run ABS, then switch this to ABS. For the nozzle temperature, I'm, because I'm using PLA, I'm now at 210 degrees Celsius. Uh, if you would run this with ABS, then I would suggest running it on 225 degrees Celsius or something similar uh, depending on your uh, ABS material. The heated bed is now turned on and it's switched at 41 degrees Celsius. Uh, this is for PLA. If you run ABS then it would be 90 degrees Celsius. In general, uh, well the guy who made this uh, file he said use a layer height of 0 0.1. So that is what we are doing. He also said uh, you should use shell thicknesses of 1 mm and 0.1 times 10 equals 1 mm. So here I have the shell thickness at 10 layers. Uh, the infill density I do at 15%. Uh, I don't think this is going to use infill, but if it is, it will be done at 15% and it's at honeycomb. For the speeds, uh, the guy suggested 50 millimeters a second, so I'm going to do that. But uh, here at the small radius, and this is a lot of small radiuses here, I'm going to set this to 25. And for the info, I'm going to run it at 50 as well. And the bridge printing speed I always keep at 25, non-printing movement speed is at 60, bottom layer speed is at 20, and the retraction speed, this is uh, not important for PLA, but if you run ABS, please keep, uh, keep this setting at 40 millimeters a second or higher. And also with this uh, new firmware I tend to use the auto speed adjustment for smaller parts. So this is what I'm uh, running at this moment. For my supports, well I always use a brim and if possible I would like to use the brim at 10 millimeters. Uh, sometimes it's not possible and I switch back to 5. Support, it's unnecessary in this part so we can leave the support off. The retraction settings are 6200 and those two tabs are on. In this part you don't need to set the retraction settings and also for the extrusion ratio well in this part you don't have to change anything here. So now I hit the print button and now it's slicing the object and here we have it sliced and so so I click print and the object will now be sent to my printer just because I like them myself as well. So here it is printing. So this is how I put my settings on my computer and now I've uh, uploaded the part to my printer which is actually busy at this moment printing the file. So we will see how it gets done when it's finished. 
but before I forget to mention I have uh, one thing and you should really know that I have made two copies at the same time because it's a very small part and if I would only print one copy of it then uh, there is a chance that the part is too hot when it's melting each layer on top of it so now it's doing one part and then the other part and then one part again and the other part again and uh, the, the good side of that is that it uh, gives it the time to cool down a little bit so uh, the thing will be nice Well, Ronnie, I printed it myself, and here they are. And I think they look magnificent. There is only one problem, and I think it's the same problem what you ran into. And that is that when I have this spool of filament, it just won't fit. And the thing is, the creator of this uh, made this in a specific way and he made this especially for 1.75 uh, mil filament but they don't fit and I don't know what's the reason they don't fit uh, could be a problem with the print on this printer could also be a measurement mistake by the creator I don't know uh, but I've seen that some other people have made this one as well and I think there would have, uh, there would have been complaints if, if the file was wrong. So I think it's not the file, I think it's, it has something to do with this printer. So I'm going to look for you what would be the correct size to upscale this and get a right print out of it. So here we are again in XY Setware for Pro and we are going to take a look on what size the thing has to be before it fits on our 1.75 mil filament so I'm going to download this clip and I know that at this size it won't fit so I'm going to scale I'm going to set it to 110 percent and apply now I'm going to download yet another Boom and the auto placement doesn't work because I've rescaled the thing so I have to set the thing to another position myself and uh, this can be done here like this and I'm going to scale it to 120 percent there it is and I'm going to download yet another and I'm going to bring that to this side and this one I'm going to scale to 130 percent and just to be sure but only to be sure I'm going to download yet another into my oh where it is uh, I want it to land I want it this I wanted it on this axis so here it is and I want it something like here and I'm going to scale it to 140 percent so here we have 110, 120, 130 and 140 percent. I'm going to print it at exactly the same settings as I did earlier. And uh, well, that would be a little bit of printing time, but we are going to look how it will turn out. So print. So at the original size it didn't work because uh, the filament wouldn't pass through it and now we have printed this on a, a bigger size 10% growth you'll see the filament passes through perfectly so now it passes and you can also 
turn it around and have it clip and as you see it fits so this is only 10% growth and it's perfect I think this is thing uh, which is not the fault of the creator of this part I think it has something to do with this printer which is not very accurate in small parts so well if it would have been a mistake by the creator I think there would have a lot of there would have been a lot of complaints by people who already made this thing so I guess it's really the printer but here it is it works and it works flawless